Hi, Cultural Society officers. This will be a quick introduction into using Pinnacle Studio, which you can see right over here. So let's double click that right now to open it. Meanwhile, you'll see right next to this is DT2014, which is the Dinner Theater 2014 folder, and you want to look at the subtitles over here as well, which is where we will be grabbing all of our files. You can see So over here is the preview window. Up left is where we find all of our different effects and transitions and media, which you aren't going to be using very much. And at the bottom is where the majority of your work is going to be. <clears throat> so right now, along this entire track, I have our dinner theater show. And it's very long, an hour and a half. So basically, each person talking is going to require their own subtitle. So you can see over here, each person has their own subtitle. If you double click on any of the subtitles, you'll see it open and we'll see all our settings over here. At the bottom, you can follow along with the audio of each person talking as well. Now, the easiest way for you to get started is to simply copy and paste one title overlay into another location. So I'm going to hit Control C, or you can right click and copy it. And then when the next one starts, And you can see that she started talking again around over here. So I'm just going to right click and paste that and I get a new slide. But I'm going to want to put the words of mom in there. So now if I go back to my Dinner Theater 2014 folder, you can see subtitles. Double click on subtitles. Hopefully this file will be open for you already anyway. And once it opens up, I'm going to hit the Windows button and Alt-Left so we get a list of all our subtitles. And now we're up to Mom, who says, wait, I promised myself that I wouldn't argue. So I'm going to hit Control-A to select all, and then Control-C to copy. I'll go back to Pinnacle over here. I will double click on this title slide up here let's delete our old one and paste in the new one I'll hit control V and it completely replaces it now what we have to be careful about is the placement of the subtitle itself as you can see in this case it's been moved up and we have guidelines you see guidelines on the left hand side here and the right side over there. So for the most part we want to try to put it within the guidelines slightly away from the bottom. If it goes over by a little bit it's not really too big of a deal but you can always resize it by clicking here and shrinking it just a little bit. Okay. So now we see that this fits pretty well. If you are happy with it just click OK and we have our next subtitle. And the length of it actually was pretty good over here. Now if I move my mouse cursor, and you can see a little arrow now, I can make this title a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. So now I'll move it right to the end of where she stopped speaking. And now we can see that the next piggy start talking right over here. So let's copy and paste. Control C. Let me go back over here. 
control V or right click and paste we get our slide again go back to the PowerPoint go to the next slide control A to cop to select all control C to copy double click this title slide Let's select all of this, hit control V to paste it in. Again, we can see that we're slightly outside the boundary over here. If you're happy with it, then it's fine. Notice our settings is left justified, Arial 28. I inserted one line of a border, but it's already done for you, so you don't have to do these settings all over again each time by copying and pasting the slides we get what we want now if we listen carefully now I see that she ended over here now if you want to be more exact about where the person ends move your cursor down to the t where it says the time and if you click and you could drag right or drag left to make it wider so you can see when you stretch it she stopped at approximately right over here right over here so I'm going to put my cursor my arrow appears I hold I click I drag left I end it right there so let me recap just one more time you can select where you want to go on the track by moving the top arrow top of this red line over here. You can select whether or not you want to magnify by clicking on the bottom time and dragging left or dragging right while you hold down the mouse. Your most important buttons are going to be copy and paste, control C, control V, although also whenever you make a mistake just hit control Z to undo, although there's also an undo button right over here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and hopefully we'll finish this project soon.